If you're like me and my friends, you love to hang out at the mall, but it's hard to know what to shop for to be eco-friendly. Well, we found a place with a few ideas. At first glance, this store may seem like any other, but it's not. From cosmetics, to school supplies, to all the furnishings for your dorm room, everything you see here is good for the planet. But that's not the only thing that makes this store special. It's being run by the nonprofit organization Teens Turning Green. We're a group of teens trying to educate people about all the different ways that they can green their lives, and that's by replacing products that are filled with chemicals and that can be potentially harmful to your, for your health, and replacing them with products that don't have those chemicals in them. Their latest project is about how to green up your room, dorm, or wherever you hang your hat. There are greener alternatives for every possible product. Teens Turning Green's Kate Smith hopes this temporary shop gives people something to think about. And what we're trying to do with this organization is educate people about all the different ways that they can green their dorm rooms. And that's from the bedding that they have to the cleaning products and the cosmetics that they use or even the clothes that they wear and making sure that you know they're made with organic cotton and cotton that's not sprayed with pesticides. Project Green Dorm is just the latest way these teens are reaching out to others. They also do it through green spas like the one they've set up here. It focuses on green cosmetics, which gets back to the root of it all. We started as Teens for Safe Cosmetics. We're now called Teens Turning Green, and we have a lifestyle component. So that's the 24-7 the aspect. Erin Schrode is a founding member of Teens for Safe Cosmetics. She took action after she started reading product labels. And I found out that the cosmetics that I was starting to use at age 13 every day, whether it be shampoo, deodorant, toothpaste, mascara, were filled with synthetic and often toxic ingredients that have links to cancer, birth defects, and reproductive harm. So what are some of those harmful ingredients? So parabens are one that's a word that you hear a lot, methyl, propyl, butyl, paraben. Um, you hear about formaldehyde, which is used to preserve dead bodies, and um, propylene glycol, which is an antifreeze for your car. If those words sound like a mouthful, they are. But Aaron says it's important to look for all of them on labels. We actually, we've developed a list with chemists called the Dirty 30, which is 30 ingredients that are found commonly in the products we use. They're doing more than making a list. The group is working with manufacturers of cosmetics and personal care products to make changes. Some are listening, and so are lawmakers. You know, I just turned 18, and from the moment we started this campaign at age 13, we've been involved in legislative change. We went to Sacramento to lobby for SB 484, which was the first safe cosmetics act of the country. And the governor was going to veto it, and we went and we told him why it was important. And he signed the bill. And she didn't stop there. Last June, I went and testified at a California uh, assembly hearing about the Lips Against Lead bill, so removing lead from lipstick, because the national campaign did a study and found in dozens of commercial brands trace amounts of lead. I was a, you know, a witness talking, looking in the eyes of our elected politicians and saying, here's why it matters to me, and it should matter to you too. When I see the energy and enthusiasm and the brilliant ideas of the teens and what they've been able to create, it just feels like something new and something big is happening. Stacy Malkin founded the National Campaign for Safe Cosmetics, which works closely with the group and helps get it off the ground. So I really think that the teens turning green uh, and teen activism is the future and that you guys are going to be the ones that really are able to shift the economy to a green, healthy, sustainable economy. And just to see the tremendous change that I can bring you know, just by hanging out with my friends and teaching them different ways that they can green their lives, it's an easy thing to do and teenagers see that they can make a change and it's very tangible and they know that it's a difference in their lives and a difference in the lives of their friends. It's a call for change that is spreading, with new chapters springing up around the U.S. in places like New York and Texas. Malkin says the future is bright thanks to teens who want to make change. You have what you need to be able to really make some big changes in the world. Um, and I see a lot of energy and enthusiasm to do that. And I just think that is really a truly bright and hopeful sign for the future.